Hi there, I'm Kim Castle, co-creator of Brand You and an entrepreneur just like you. I know exactly what you go through every day. I know the highs, I know the lows, and I know the uh-ohs. I've been on this entrepreneurial journey for nearly 20 years. Along the way, I've had the good fortune to work with some really big brands like IBM, Wolfgang Puck, M&Ms, Disney, as well as hundreds of startups. I don't say small because to me, there is no such thing as a small business. Today, big comes in lots of sizes. My aim is to give you practical insights and tangible steps so that you can prove that every day. This is your power blast. When it comes to branding your business, is it your business or is it you? That's a question I get asked often when I'm working with entrepreneurs. Very often people come with their, their, their vision, their dreams, and it's all connected to who they are and what they're bringing to the world, and they can't quite see the difference between them and their business. And I get that question asked a lot. And it is a great question, and it is definitely something that needs to be decided right from the very beginning. We cover this a lot when we go into brand power, which is stage two of the business profit system, where we really dive into the brand communication, give birth to the brand, whether it's at the umbrella level or division level or even the product level. And uh, there are there are times when I do recommend that you do name the business, the brand, after yourself. And, but very rarely do I do that. Only when the, the entrepreneur has a personality or they're really making a strong media play would I recommend that. Uh, media play meaning that you're going for a media outlet. You're going for a magazine, a TV show, a radio show. You see, you see that as a full, full expression or outlet for your brand. And you have the personality and the, the charisma to back that up. That said, even if you don't have that, there is so much you can do with developing a brand without using your name. And uh, there are plenty of people, you, you, Steve Jobs, Starbucks, plenty of people that develop great businesses without naming it after themselves. Now, if you do decide that you want to name it after yourself, which you would know once you went through brand power, as, as well as power path, which is stage one of the business profit system, there are some pitfalls that you need to watch out for when you are naming your business and your brand after yourself. One, you will never be able to walk away from it and it'll be really, really hard to take breaks unless you build the system of your business well. The second pitfall is it's very, very hard to, to walk that line between where you end as a person and where your business begins. There's the, that, that, I would say, is the biggest pitfall that people fall into when they go for naming their brand after themselves is they think they are the business. No. You are a person. Your business is a business. It just so happens to be named after you. Think about this week when you're looking at you carrying the personality of your business and know that there, there is a definite way to go and it is on a per business, per vision basis. And if you'd like some help doing that, I would definitely recommend looking into the Power Path program, which is stage one of the business profit system, where we start by building the infrastructure and the structure of how your brand is going to grow. With that in place, it makes it a very, very easy question to answer. Thank you for watching Power Blast. If you want to get it hot out of the oven, as well as tips, strategies, and answers on how to reliably grow your business from idea to brand to sales, subscribe to one of the feeds at blog.brandyou.com to be a part of a growing community of conscious entrepreneurs, each dedicated to changing the world by creating a whole and successful business. Be sure to comment and let me know what you want Vito and I to cover. Consider yourself blasted.